Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a slightly bolder look than I've done on my channel before, but I was really, really fancying something a bit more colourful because it is horrible and miserable outside. So I was like, nope, I'm not gonna let the rain get me down. I'm gonna do something colourful. And this is what I came up with. I had no idea where this, where I was gonna go with this video. I didn't know what kind of look I was gonna come out with. All I know is I wanted to use the James Charles Morphe palette because this is so colourful and this is what I came up with. So it's just this pink, purple, cut crease glitter situation with some big lashes and a glossy nude lip. So yeah, if you don't want to see how I created this look right here, just keep on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyelids. So I used for my eyebrows the Brow Archery and the Pears Soap as always. And I've done my eye base with the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer in C0.5. And then I set that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 003 Peach Glow. So. I've already done that and I've also primed my skin so it can sink into my skin. So I've used the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this stuff. So I'm going to be using the Morphe James Charles Collaboration Palette. I love this. I've only had it since Christmas, but oh my God, I love it. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty, really colourful. So I'm going to try and stay around this area, you know, like the pinks, purples. I don't exactly know what I'm going to go for today, but... Guess we're gonna find out in a minute. I'm gonna start with just like a bronzy transition shade and I'm actually just gonna use my bronzer which is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just going to blend that into my crease just to get a little bit of an outline of where I want the shape of it. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And just keep adding if you think you need more. And I'm going to blend it out a little bit over here so that when I put my my base makeup on, it all seamlessly blends together. So now that I've got my transition colour, I'm going to go in with this brush. So this is the Morphe M456 brush. It's like a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with oops, that one. So I'm just going to pop that little by little. I would start, I would say to start very light handed, like fingers at the end of the brush and just really slowly work that into the crease. And just build it up whenever you think you need a little bit more colour. And I'm going to slightly flick it out at the ends, not too much, just a little bit. Like so. Go back in with that same brush and take the more purpley shade below the one we just used. And just take a little bit of that and just take it a little bit lower in the crease. So it's more on the eyelid, just so we've got one more transition colour blending it all nice together and again just slightly bring that out of the edge okay now I'm going to go in with that same purple shade again this one here and I'm just going to take a dense still fluffy but a more dense brush and I'm going to pack that onto my lid Just building that colour up until it's where you want it and then just go back in with that uh, Morphe M456 brush and just blend as you go. Then I'm going to go in with a darker purple, this one right here. Oh my god, excuse the state of my nails. But I'm going to go in with this colour right here. It's a darker purple and I'm going to pack that Yeah, with the same brush. Um, mm, mm, no I'm not, I'm lying. I know what brush I want and I can't find it, there it is. 
I'm going to pack that on with this MAC 239 SE brush, so cute, just a little dense fluffy brush again. I'm going to take that purple and just focus that on the outer corner. And then just go back in with that fluffy brush again and blend until you're happy. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take a cotton bud and then take the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, it's the one with the pink lid, and I'm just going to get the cotton bud wet and I'm going to cut the crease before I put any concealer on just because I want a completely different colour on that bit. So yeah, just wipe away the area that you want your cut crease to be in. Like so. <laughs> then I'm going to cut my crease, again technically, with my concealer, which is again the Revolution Concealer. Pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take the Spectrum A16 brush and cut my crease. And then I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just take off any excess. And then just keep going in with your brush, making it how you want it to look. And then I'll just take my finger and kind of blend out the edge. Okay, so now that the crease has been cut, I'm going to is. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Chrome Paint in Frozy. It's this beautiful pink, pinky kind of rose goldy colour. And I'm going to take this Ted Baker brush, just a flat shader brush, and I'm going to put this where we cut the crease. So right on top of that concealer. Oh, it's such a pretty colour. Then I'm going to take another flat shader kind of brush, if I can find one. There we go. This is the LA Splash setting brush, just another fluffy kind of brush. And I'm going to take the glittery purple colour in this James Charles palette. And I'm just going to put that on kind of the outer bit of the cut crease, just to blend it all together. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up some of that, not too much, and then just blend this colour into the outside. Oh, that's such a pretty colour. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glitter in the crease, in the cut crease part, so at the top, and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in Metalhead. This is just the purple one. I've loved this for so long. Anyone that went to my dance school when I was younger, if you don't own this, you have not lived a MSSD life. Like, honestly, you haven't. So now that my glitter eyeliner has dried, I'm going to move on to my face before I finish off my eyes. So, like I said, I've already primed. So I'm actually going to use the DWTN Paris highlighter that I got in my glossy box. And I'm going to pop. <laughs> that be that then. That was rude. That was absolutely rude. 
Oh my gosh, why did that just do that to me? Anyway, I'm just going to pop that on my chin, on my cheekbones, on my forehead. <laughs> Basically just everywhere. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 100 all over my face. And then I'm going to take my sponge and just bounce that all over. Mm, you're a little bit too light. Oh, said me ever. Never. Lol. Actually, oh, I don't know anymore. I need to get a new one of these sponges. This one's absolutely filthy. Oh, I love the coverage of this foundation so much. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my concealer again. I'm not going to put silly amounts on, just a little bit here, a little bit up there, a little bit on my nose. On my chin. I'll just take it right up the bridge of my nose as well. So then once that is all Blend nice onto my face. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Rice. Take the Spectrum A30 brush and just lightly set under my eyes. This stuff just makes you look so smooth. It's mad. Between my eyebrows, onto my forehead, down my nose, the side of my nose, and my chin. So now that I'm looking rather ghostly, I'm going to do some bronzer. So I'm going to take the Spectrum CO3 brush and my butter bronzer and just bronze up the outer parts of my face. And then with a littler brush, just very lightly contour my nose. And then I'm going to take it under my lip as well. Just to give me a little bit more of a pouty bottom lip. Okay, so next is blush, if I can find my blush, and I'm going to use NARS Orgasm. And take the Spectrum A05 brush, and I'm going to try, I'm not a huge blush wearer, but I'm going to try and put a little bit more on than usual to kind of tie everything in. And a little bit on my nose. So before I do my highlight, I'm actually just going to finish my under eyes. Basically for my under eyes, I'm just going to take all of the colours I used on my eyelids under my eyes. In the same order pretty much as well. And then I like to try and match up the top bit to the lower lash line with this bit here. So the darkest colour I only bring to this little part here because I don't want my whole lower lash line to be like dark purple. So 
go the lightest colour all the way along. So that first pinky purple transition shade all the way along. The next one, bring it only halfway along. And then the darkest colour just on the outside. And just keep blending that into the, the top bit so it all seamlessly works together. <laughs> then whatever's left from the tart chrome paint I'm just going to take under here. So next I'm going to do highlighter. Yes I do my makeup in a very strange order. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme in 200 Diamond Glow and I'm going to take that with the Spectrum B08 brush and just pop that on the high points of my cheek. Above my eyebrow on my nose on my chin and then on my cupid's bow so the next part is I'm going to set my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 prim primer setting spray <laughs> give it a shake and set my face I always do this before I put any mascara on because I feel like most mascara is just transfer and it's just it, it's a mess. Speaking of mascara I'm gonna go do that off camera but I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I'm going to use the Unicorn Lashes in Forget Me Not with the House of Lashes lash glue this is the black one i need to get myself the non-black one like the clear one but most of the time when i wear falsies it's for like a dramatic look so this kind of like does the eyeliner for me because i suck at eyeliner <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go do that can we just quickly talk about the difference that eyelashes actually make so now that my eyelashes are on i'm going to take the huda beauty Life liner in Very Vanta, and I'm going to take the pencil. This is like a dual ended thing. I'm going to take the pencil and just line my upper waterline. Oh my god, I hate doing this. Ah, ah I hate it. I'm going to take it in my lower lash line as well. Screw it. So all I've got to do is lips. So I'm going to start with the Ted Baker lipstick. It doesn't, oh, does it have a colour? Oh, it's actually a lip balm. That's cool. I didn't know that, but I use it as a lipstick. I'm just going to... See, that doesn't look like a lip balm. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo, Cairo, still don't know how to say it, I should probably figure that out, and just put that on top in the middle. And then finally I'm going to go in with the NYX of Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. And I'm just going to put that all over because I love a glossy lip. Ooh, this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, one final thing actually that I always forget to do. I'm going to take this little Ted Baker brush and put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner just right in there just 
just to brighten it up a little bit more because we have got that black eyeliner in there now. Ooh. So that is that. That's this. It's done. Considering I didn't know where this look was going, I'm very impressed with where I ended up. So if you did like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.